Polygyny is the practice of a man having more than one wife. Two-thirds of the world allow the practice of polygyny. Our little cut of the world, the Western world, holds it as being against the law. But it's not against the living God's law, so that's why I'm talking about it. I'm not saying that this lifestyle is for everybody, but I am saying that it should be criminalized and looked at as a marital option. The Western world in all its sin wants to legalize gay marriage, and gay marriage is a sin. So why not legalize polygynous marriages when they are not sinful in the eyes of Yahweh? Anyway, here's Yahweh's commandment on the matter. Let us look at Exodus 21 and 10. If a man takes another wife, he is not to uh, diminish her food, the clothing, or the marital relations. When they talk about her, they're talking about the first wife. Uh, this verse protects her, the first wife. Another passage that comes to mind is Deuteronomy 21, 15 through 17, which is specific to men with two wives. Um, and it reads, if a man has two wives, the one loved and the other unloved, both the loved and the unloved wives have borne him children. And if the firstborn son is the child of the unloved wife, then when it comes time for him to pass his inheritance on to his sons, he may not give the inheritance due the firstborn to the son of the loved wife in place of the son of the unloved one, who is in fact the firstborn. No, he must acknowledge as the firstborn the son of the unloved wife by giving him a double portion of everything he owns, for he is the first fruits of his manhood, and the right of the firstborn is his. Now, if polygyny was a sin to Yahweh, why would he make laws on how to govern such a thing? In Second Samuel 12 and 8, Yahweh talks to King David through his friend Nathan and he says, I gave your master's house to you and your master's wives into your arms. I gave you the house of Israel and Judah. And if all of this had been too little, I would have given you more. Does Yahweh rebuke King David for having multiple wives? No, in fact, he says that he gave him the wives. Then he goes on to say that if all this, the house, the wives, Israel, Yehuda, if it had all been too little, he would have given him even more. So that also means more wives. This is from Yahweh, and he said it. Why would he give a man more sin? Say, okay, I know a lot of people that will say, DG, you're giving us all this Old Testament stuff. These people tend to believe that if it's in the Old Testament, then it's done away with. I still have yet to find where they gain that idea, since the Bible doesn't say it. But for the sake of appeasing their feelings, Let's go to Matthew 25, 1 through 13. This is a parable uh, Yeshua HaMashiach tells us about um, 10 bride, bridesmaids waiting on the bridegroom. I'm not going to read it to you because it's kind of long and you can read it yourself. But the synopsis is that the, um, five, the five of the bri bridesmaids were ready while the other five were caught slipping. The groom took the five that were ready into the wedding feast while the other five were shut up, shut out. Now ask yourself, why would the Messiah use something he thought of as a sin to symbolize his return? Do you hear him referring to a murderer in a positive, positive light or a homosexual? No. There are many debates people put forth against polygyny. They try to say that Yahweh punished the polygynists in the Old Testament and refers to problems that King David and King Solomon had. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very early in the morning. Um, but you have to understand, there's a commandment that says you are not to marry foreign wives. They, weren't, they went against that, and it caused them to run off and worship other gods. And so they were punished for their idolatry, not for their polygyny. A lot of people talk about polygyny from their feelings. You know, they, they feel this, and they're just like, I, I just feel that it's wrong. We have to put feelings aside. It's not about what you feel. It's about right and wrong in the eyes of Yahweh. All I'm saying and proving to you today is that it's not wrong in the eyes of Yahweh. Um, that is it for this part. Uh, part two will be about who benefits from a polygynous relationship. Um, Shalom and Todah Rabbah for giving a listening ear to the matter.